Okay, now into my favorite, favorite part of the show. That's a hashtag TGIF410. That's thank goodness it's Friday and 410. And one of the reasons I'm actually super excited is also because we have our social media sensei in studio. That's uh, Shaka Sisulu rocking a, a very, very cool hat tonight. Loving it. I asked if I could uh, put it on during the break <laughs> and uh, his response wasn't quite kosher. So I'm not going to share that. But of course, we always bring you in to give us the big conversations that yeah. were happening in the social media space. And we leverage off Twitter quite a lot. Yeah. We've just gotten out of a real, rather heavy conversation with Mr. Colum Polasi around uh, the xenophobic attacks in South Africa. Yeah. But one of the hashtags that were trending was, of course, Zeno Imbizo. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, Zeno Imbizo trended twice uh, this particular week. Uh, the first time being on Monday mm. when uh, the Zulu King, King Goodwill Zualitini, actually held an mbizo uh, where he was going to discuss, uh, you know, uh, the sentiment that was allegedly attributed to him or that was attributed to him in the media. Um, and then today there was a the first of a series of mbizos held, held by um, the police and uh, by government involving different stakeholders was held in Alexander Township. Yeah. So that was the first people starting to discuss what it is uh, that's bringing out this particular sentiment, uh, sentiment and what can be done. So mm. government really stepping up to the plate, seeming to take this thing very seriously. Seeming to take this thing very seriously. Let's pull up a couple of the tweets around uh, the Zeno and Bezo. We had Poka Mani Manaila saying, uh, so James Otto has become a hero for watching uh, while Emmanuel Sotolo was being murdered, what has your society turned to? And I think not really about Zeno and Bezo, but uh, picking up on James yeah. Otway there and the broader xenophobic uh, conversation. Let's pull up another one about the, uh, another one. This is also about James. This is Susan Etmeyer. She says, James Otway. Oh, look at that. The con contrasting absolutely, views. Absolutely. The photojournalist mm. who did more than just his job. Respect. And I want to get to that difference in South African opinions. Mm. But let's pull up the, the third tweet in this one. And this one comes from Roman. Akub and Romano says, Zulitini says he called for the Zeno Mbizo so the Zulu nation can be the shield of foreign nationals. I suspect that should be um, uh, hashtag Zeno Mbizo and uh, he texted so that was other the first, things. That was the first Zeno Mbizo that yes. happened on Monday? The, with the Zulu king. Yeah, and uh, as I said, that trended and I think you know most of us were engaged wanting to hear what the Zulu king would be saying. Today there's been a second one uh, uh, trending. But what is interesting is that the king did come out and basically say uh, to the Zulu nation that, uh, you know, we are going to protect uh, foreign nationals and no one is going to do this thing in the name of Zulus or my name. So he was unequivocal in that perspective. Do you think Zulus place. got a backlash uh, from other South Africans? I saw a little bit of that uh, was, on social media. I, I, and I think it's, it was, there was always going to be a danger. Mm. that what starts out as, uh, as xenophobic attacks uh, very quickly can become a tribal thing. Yeah. You know, uh, because it effectively is some form of, you know, tribalization. Um, and I, I do believe that the different uh, authorities have managed to diffuse it. You've seen yeah. civil society coming out and saying, this is not what we do here as South Africans. You've seen government acting. Yeah. And the fact that the king actually stepped out and said, I want you all to be my ears and my eyes and make sure that nobody attacks uh, a foreigner on our soil was very, very, very important. Mm. Even as people criticized him for not taking responsibility. A very quick one, xenophobia versus Afrophobia. This is another debate that's yeah. been going on. Uh, people saying what's happening in South Africa is not xenophobia. Because only black people are being killed, right? So what, what, what is it? What are we dealing with? I, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I wouldn't like to become <laughs> a social analyst about it at this point in time, but I do. We have noted that typically only black people are getting killed, yeah, uh, or attacked. Um, it, it does seem to be, you know, it's it's it does seem to be very focused. So when we had the xenophobic looting in Soweto, it was quite focused. Then you had the attacks in Durban; it seemed to be quite focused yeah. on a particular group. So. Uh, you know, um, although other nationalities, the Pakistanis or the Chinese or whatever, might have been concerned because of the general sentiment yeah. of xenophobia, they really weren't targeted in this particular right. instance. So that's an interesting one uh, that, that there has been that distinction. But let's maybe get into a second conversation and one that Gary and I are on the same side about. I mm -hmm. hope that you are <laughs> on uh, in our camp about this. Uh, and of course, camp. the hashtag was Kaiser Chiefs. Thank you, Gossi! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! 
<laughs> I don't even know if we need to explain <laughs> what happened here. No, wait, we have and, to. Get and we and and uh, my team, my team won this in stellar fashion. In stellar convincingly. fashion. Convincingly. My gosh, what a season it's been. What my a gosh. I mean, how I big mean, was this conversation? Like, how big was the Kaiser Chiefs? I mean, I actually, I, I'm think, a I actually think it wasn't big enough. And I think because uh, the Chiefs really just dominated this season. Yeah. So it wasn't a, you know, photo finish where I think if it had been one of those really tight finishes, uh, you'd probably have had a bigger conversation. So it, there was a sense of it's a fait accompli. But what an incredible, spectacular way to end oh. it. Uh, Gary, <laughs> Gary, there's someone sulking, and I'm going to bring mm. him onto camera now, and he's standing behind one of the cameras. Yeah. But Gary, a quick one. Kaiser Chiefs, for you, done it? Or do you support local, I'm assuming? Yeah, I yes. do. I do. Uh, and you're not? Kaiser Chiefs. No, no, no. I am Kaiser Chiefs, and, oh, and it's mainly uh, all my friends are Kaiser Chiefs, so I... Let's bring Aubrey in. in. He is pulling such a face <laughs> because you lost Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's. Uh, I don't I, even I, know why, why. Like pirate guys are acting like there was some. There was a chance. Well, there was a chance or something. Like they were in the like, running. There, there was this, this These guys are like running what, towards number four. What happened to Sundowns? <laughs> Wasn't it there, there, a five 0 no loss somewhere in the week mm -hmm. and uh, Pito crying and and then shame guys. Let I mean him honestly, cry. I, I'm really I. You know, I remember that song? You. Let her cry. <laughs> Let him cry. Okay, let's move on. Third mm. conversation. Uh, somebody celebrated a birthday. Uh, that was of course Sachin, and there were lots of one of the of biggest cricketers in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, Balaji says there may be thousands of players who will play this game, but none would give us the memories you have given us. Hashtag legend. Happy birthday, Sachin. And that was. That was seemed to be. I actually think this is one of those times. Um, you know, it's interesting because you you have countries that have a huge population, but yeah. you don't necessarily see them setting trends. That's an interesting thing about Twitter is yeah. that you you don't quite uh, yet have the Twitter population matching. So populist doesn't the, equal trend. Well, you don't necessarily have the Twitter population matching the population of the country. Ah. Um, you know, there is a particular. A, a dynamic around that, but this is one of the few times that you'll actually see the the Asian, the subcontinent, actually dominating the Twitter sphere. This conversation is global. It's power. It's it's blowing up. It's, it's global. Incredible. It's power. Are you a cricket? Yeah, so cricket. Yeah, I used to be. Oh, so anymore. you got okay. So you guys are representing for this guy. Is like he supports everything. Yeah, no, he's got he's like, do you like chips? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you like cricket? Yes. <laughs> What's your problem? Yeah. What's your problem? Let's move on to sad and news. Still in the sporting fraternity, it really seems as if uh, the sporting fraternity did uh, dominate this week. So Julius Malema uh, says, uh, can't we just say Lionel Messi is the modern day? Shoes, hashtag shoes memorial. And of course, that's on the back of the passing of uh, uh, shoes, the player. Did you actually, was that, shoes a, Michelle, was that, a, was shoes that a pun? No, no, what do you mean? When you oh. said the passing of... Uh, no. <laughs> no, but you know, in all honesty, uh, and it was, you could see even um, at the, you know, the, the last Chiefs game, you know, people came out, coming out with the T-shirts um, and, uh, you know, basically paying homage to, to shoes. An incredible player, did so much for the game, incredibly humble, which is probably why Julius Malama says, let's call him Lionel Messi, incredible uh, game maker, okay. you know, playmaker. So he made things happen. And uh, I mean, the South African soccer fraternity has been poor without him for some time, mm. but we're really going to miss him. It the incredible things that were said about him, yeah. and uh, Twitter has been a buzz with a lot of the comments that uh, people that have played with him or coached him have said tonight uh, or t today at the memorial. I, I remember she was from, I think it was that 1996 uh, African Cup of Nations, uh, and watching those games with my father and our frustration because he kept on hitting the bar most of the time and that's that's my i remember that right <laughs> right that's my memory of shoes but uh, that's yeah. a legend that we've lost uh and and that brings us to the end of our social media conversation